I want to go over a nightmare scenario with you. You go to a dealership and you purchase a car that you like, and just within the first 10 days, the car starts having mechanical problems. Congratulations, you just bought yourself what's known as a lemon car. Hi, I'm Pollyanna Laura, an attorney at Consumer Action Law Group. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how you can tell if your car in fact is a lemon or not. This word is used very commonly, but we need to know if you really qualify. Before we dive in, I just want to let our viewers know that if you bought a car within a year or two ago and it started having mechanical problems that it probably shouldn't have, we can help. Check out the description below to see how you can get help with your car. So first, let's go over what it means for a vehicle to be called and qualified as a lemon. When we call a vehicle a lemon, all it means is that the car has issues or serious defects that make the car dangerous to drive or it remains in service without being able to be repaired for a long time. This can mean that the car's defects remain unfixed even after several repair attempts have been made. It can also mean that the car has defects that make the car too dangerous to drive. Either way, it means that lemon cars are not safe for you to drive in, therefore entitling you to a possible claim. Now, this doesn't mean that any car that has problems will be qualified as a lemon vehicle. Let's say that someone was driving a car that was 10 years old and it started to have some problems. Well, in this case, the car most probably will not be considered a lemon and those are just mechanical problems that the car is going to have. Why? Well, because if the car has been driven for over 10 years, it's not unusual for it to start having these types of mechanical problems. Now, some of you might be asking, how long do we have to file a lemon claim? Well, that really depends on what state you purchase the vehicle in. In the United States, each state has its own set of laws and rules for when a car owner can make a lemon claim. You need to check. For example, in California, you can make a good strong lemon claim as long as the problems and the repairs that your vehicle sustained happened while the manufacturer's warranty was still in effect. This is easy to find out and you can get online and see how long the manufacturer warranty is. Usually, people have up to four years from when they experience the car's problems to file a lemon claim. Lemon claims usually get resolved before they go to trial because going to trial means spending lots of money and time and effort. And this goes for both sides. Even the manufacturers have to spend the same amount of time and money and effort. And if you do have a legitimate claim, then the opposing side, usually for the manufacturer or the car dealership, will likely agree to settle the case before going to trial. This is why you don't see too many lemon claims going all the way to court, even though there are tons of lemon claims out there. Now, if your car doesn't exactly meet these rules and these criteria, don't worry. Many laws have exception to these rules, and the lemon laws are no different. I recommend talking to a lawyer to discuss your situation, first to see if you still have a valid lemon claim. Now, there are many ways a vehicle can be deemed or claimed as a lemon. I'd like to go over four easy ways that you can use to identify whether your car in fact qualifies as a lemon. The first way to tell if your car is a lemon is that it has a defect that cannot be repaired or duplicated by a service technician after two to three attempts. If you're taking your car in for repairs for the same defect and the problem is still not fixed, then your car is most likely a lemon. It's important to keep all your service records to establish your case. The next example is if your car has repeated defects that make it dangerous to drive, then your car probably is a lemon. For example, brake failure that could lead to serious injury or even death. This puts your life at risk when driving and most likely means that your car in fact is a lemon. Another example is if your car was in the shop for a total of 30 days. The 30 days includes all the days your car was in the shop. So if you took your car in one time for repairs for 10 days and then another time for 20 days, then that totals 30 days and it could be qualified as a lemon vehicle. 
The last way you can identify if your vehicle is a lemon or not is if the dealership refuses to repair your car when it's still under the manufacturer's warranty. If your car is still under the manufacturer's warranty, then the dealership is required to honor it by accepting to repair your vehicle or attempting to repair your vehicle. So in this video, we went over what it means for a car to be called a lemon, what it means when a car is qualified to be a lemon claim, and some examples of when a car can be a lemon. As I've mentioned before, there is a time limit for when you can pursue a lemon claim. So it's recommended that you talk to a lawyer as soon as possible. If you think your car might be a lemon, please do not hesitate to reach out to our law firm. We've helped many clients either get their money back either from the dealership or the manufacturer, or we've helped our clients get a replacement vehicle. Our consultations are absolutely free, and we're also able to do extensive research for free as well to see if you have a valid lemon case. You can find the link to our website below and our phone number in the description as well. We look forward to hearing from you and helping you with your lemon claim. And please make sure to subscribe for more videos and updates as they are posted. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something about whether your car is a lemon or not.